it's Wednesday and welcome to our daily prayers. Um, here's a picture of some beautiful flowers, the sort of lavender and the white, and of course, the green of the grass and the other flowers. Um, just take a moment to just enjoy the beauty of the colours of God's creation. As I look at the picture in a bit more detail, I can see some lovely daisies down the front, which I hadn't noticed before. Little unexpected things God can show us. And so we pray together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our verse for this morning, Exodus 20, verse 13, is only four words, but obviously very important. You shall not murder. Now, as we get to the second half of the Ten Commandments, we start thinking about our relations with other people. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing now. And obviously, <laughs> murder is part of that. And it's a clear boundary um, that we should um, observe. Um, obviously, the life and the taking of it was and is seen as God's prerogative. So. The initial question is, who are we to take the position of God and take someone else's life? Any time that possible situation comes up, we need to weigh it and think about it very seriously indeed. Now, Christians are divided. Some of us are pacifists, would not show violence under any circumstances. Others would support an army and some form of defence. It's a mixed picture. I think the point is we think it through seriously and we come up with our view and accepting that others may differ from us. But probably, as you know, the, the reason for the command was to getting at the motive behind it. Why would you take someone's life? And Jesus extends that not just to the taking of life, but any form of anger against someone, because those are the motives that eventually leads to killing and murder. And actually, the things we do before that will also make us guilty. So perhaps here's a chance to search our hearts. Is there someone with whom we are harboring anger or resentment that's quietly bubbling, bubbling away? And every now and again, we add a little bit of fuel to it. Maybe a nasty remark, maybe indulging in some very unhelpful thoughts. I suspect all of us from time to time get caught up in it. So maybe this morning we come to God and perhaps confess, recognise something we've done and confess it and ask that God will create in us pure hearts instead. A space for our prayers today. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, including, of course, those of anger and resentment. As we forgive those who sin against us, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may we behave like God in terms of grace and love. And may those things follow us throughout today. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.